Hello, welcome to the service of morning prayer for Monday the 24th of May 2021. It being the day after Pentecost, it's the day when we start looking at new parts of Scripture uh, and today we're beginning the book of Job in the Old Testament and the letter to the Romans in the New Testament. And I'm challenged by both of them uh, in different ways. To take part in this service, uh, you'll need to have a Bible of your own so that you can read the Bible readings yourself uh, and uh, puzzle them out for yourself because the purpose is not that I speak to you, but rather that God speaks to you through his word. And for that reason, you'll need to be able to pause the video from time to time, so make sure you've got the video remote if I'm on a machine at the far end of the room so that you can shut me up and pay attention to God's word. Let's ask him into our hearts by his Holy Spirit today. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The hymn which Stephen Craven has chosen to begin our service today is by Timothy Dudley Smith, uh, Be Present, Spirit of the Lord. And I wonder if perhaps Timothy was reacting slightly against the exuberance of the day of Pentecost and some denominations uh, when he wrote about the Spirit coming quietly and imperceptibly into the human heart, but making a big difference. Anyway, here's the hymn. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalms set for today are Psalms 123 to 126, but as time is a bit short, I'm not going to sing you a metrical version of any of them. I suggest that you pause the video uh, and reflect on those psalms in your own Bible. The New Testament reading is the book of Job, chapter 1. Without me making comments on it beforehand, please pause the video and read that in your own Bible. Well, I ought to say that the book of Job comes in several different sections, and this part is called the prologue, which sets out the basic story. 
uh, and perhaps some of the philosophy in it is slightly different from uh, some of the poetry in the rest of the book uh, in which Job wrestles uh, with the different things. Uh, but uh, for the moment, uh, let me simply observe uh, this uh, verse at the end of the Bible, at the end of the reading. Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I shall return. Uh, the Lord gave and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I wonder if I would be able to say that under such circumstances. Uh, there are a few pop songs uh, on it. Uh, and there are one or two meditations in a Christian sense. But anyway, here's what came to me as I pondered on that question myself. Naked I came from my mother's womb, naked return one day. Blessed be the Lord who gave what was mine, he who has taken away. Earthquake and lightning flash from the sky, tell what I knew before. Pleasures of living all I enjoy, these things are all unsure. Crimes and attacks from out of the blue, famine and storms of sand. All these remind me what I once knew, my times are in his hand. Naked I came from my mother's womb, naked return one day. Blessed be the Lord who gave what is mine, even though it's taken away. As I lament in sackcloth and ash, hanging my shaven head, may I be shown a footstep apart that I can start true tread. Naked I came from my mother's womb, naked return one day. Blessed be the Lord who gave what was mine, he who has taken away. The New Testament reading is the letter to the Romans by St Paul, chapter 1, verses 1 to 17. Please pause the video and read that in your own Bible. Well, as I read that, uh, three things came to me. Uh, the first was the way that Jesus is both man, fully man, and God, fully God. The second uh, is the way that he has commissioned people like Paul uh, to preach about him and bring his good news. And the third is the way that Paul can say, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for salvation. Uh, well, I wanted a hymn to put those three things in three verses, but I'm afraid I couldn't find one. Uh, but here's one about the first, about this man who was also God, a man that lived in Galilee, unlike all men before. A man there lived in Galilee, unlike all men before. For he alone from first to last, our flesh unsullied bore. A perfect life of perfect deeds, once to the world was shown. That all mankind might mark his steps, and in them plant their own. A man there died on Calvary, above all others brave. His fellow men he saved and blessed, himself he scorned to save. No thought can gauge the weight of woe on him, the sinless laid. We only know that with his blood a ransom price was paid. A man there reigns in glory, now divine yet human still. 
That human which is all divine, death sought in vain to kill. All power is his supreme, he rules the realms of time and space. Yet still our human cares and need find in his heart a place. So let's turn to prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of the Spirit at Pentecost. We thank you that we are beneficiaries of that gift now. And whether he comes in a quiet or a noisy way in us, we ask that you would give us grace to welcome him in more deeply into our hearts, that he might work his miracles inside us, transforming us and making us more like you want us to be for doing your work in the world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we pray that none of us will suffer the disasters which Job suffered in his life. But if we do, we pray that you would give us the grace to be able to wrestle with our situation the way he did, and the grace to be able to be honest with you about feelings, and also to make progress through those feelings, and come to a deeper knowledge of you. As our times are in your hands, we commit ourselves to you and ask for your grace and blessing in our lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Father, we thank you for St Paul's insistence that the Gospel is not to be ashamed about because it is the power of God. Help us to see how it might be your power uh, in the work of different people around us in their lives and in uh, their concerns in order that we might be able to share with them the great glories of the God and Saviour of us all, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please pause the video and put before God the things on your own heart today. A collect of the day of Pentecost yesterday. Almighty God, who on the day of Pentecost sent your Holy Spirit to the disciples with wind from heaven and in tongues of flame, filling them with joy and boldness to preach the gospel, send us out in the power of the same Spirit to witness to your truth and to draw all people to the fire of your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's pray using the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may God give us his grace and apostleship in being his bearers of good news to a needy world. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.